sorry to stay out there for some but things will be changing overnight and into tomorrow May. For the time being, let's just enjoy the rest of the sunshine we've got to come this afternoon. It was a beautiful start to the day across Northern Ireland and for Scotland. I think for Northern Ireland it could turn a little more hazy through the latter part of this afternoon, but it's going to be a gorgeous end to the day right across Scotland, just with the exception of the Northern Isles. Here it's still cloudy and wet like yesterday, so another miserable afternoon. But there's plenty of sunshine as we work our way further southwards right across England and Wales and even where we've still got a bit of cloud for East Anglia and parts of the southeast it won't be too long before it cheers up here as well later on. It's looking lovely though as we head from here through the Midlands down across the southwest of England into Wales as well a lovely end to the day and if you've been spotting the temperatures pretty mild too highs of 9 or 10 Celsius and that will feel rather nice out there in the sunshine but with clearer skies it's going to turn quite chilly tonight an early frost setting in across Scotland and potentially even turning ice see through say the Midlands and the southeast of England after today's rain but head further west and particularly to the northwest it will be a milder night here because we've got the cloud and more rain starting to head in and it isn't just cloud and rain it's some pretty strong winds as well now the winds could be damaging in fact across some of the headlands of Northern Ireland and the western side of Scotland in particular we're looking at gusts potentially of up to 70 miles an hour around the coastlines here even inland we could see gusts of 50 to 60 miles an hour so it is going to be a very windy day but as we head across England and Wales again it still will be a very windy day particularly around the coastal areas but we're looking at a brighter picture really for particularly southeastern and central parts of England it should in fact start off on a bright note if rather chilly but it promises to be quite a good day here in that respect for the western side of Wales also seeing some of the stronger winds here particularly through Cardigan Bay and up towards Anglesey and we'll start to see I think something a little wetter creeping in towards the coastline here along with increasingly strong winds by the afternoon and perhaps also turning wet and rather windy too across Cumbria in particular but on the whole you can see that it's the northwest that sees the rain and the wind and the south and east where it stays dry and bright very mild though with highs of 13 Celsius it looks as though the fortunes switch by Friday England and Wales seeing the rain perhaps just flirting into East Anglia and the southeast but a brighter day for the northwest here's some 